I have here a standard third person character project called Test Templates and this video is going to be about a better way of generating C++ classes in Unreal Engine 4 projects. Now the usual way people generate C++ classes in Unreal is go to the editor, right click in the C++ classes folder and to choose new C++ class from the context menu. So you're probably familiar with this, you just go like that and up comes a dialogue and you choose the parent and give it a name and it adds relevant files to your project so you can build it and it will be reflected in this folder once you've done a build. Now um, I've basically abandoned this way of doing things. I now generate the files manually so because the pro the reason is that and I here I've got a HUD class I created um, you tend to get empty classes which are pretty useless for most of their templates um, if we look at this class my HUD it's just empty um, now what you've got to realize is these files that they produce there's nothing special or magical about them if you you can generate them yourself as you normally would in Visual Studio and provided you reproduce this exactly it will work but it's a pain in the neck to type all this out uh, you're gonna forget what's in it and so on so I wrote some Visual Studio item templates and um, the link to the github repository is in the uh, description below if you want these you just download them and there are instructions on how to install and use. Let's make some classes my way, my new way. So if I go to uh, the folder and press Control shift a I get this dialog box and let's make an actor to start with. Um, you would give it a name here but I'm just going to leave it like that. Now this location folder is normally wrong when when you first start visual studio it will be wrong it will point to intermediate um, project files folder um, and you would have to browse um, back to the source and then choose um, or you'd have to come here to the root of the project choose source and then test templates that is the correct location. I think this is a um, an Unreal rather than the Visual Studio issue. Um, but you only have to do it once when you first start Visual Studio. Uh, provided you don't exit, it will remember this. As, in fact, it's done this here because I've, I've done this before. So I'm going to add this class now. And you get this. One thing you do have to fix is this macro. I couldn't work out a way of generating this. You have to type in in uppercase the name of the project which is test templates in this case <clears throat> uh, let's make another one let's make a um, that's an actor let's make a character um, yeah one here I'm gonna call it my character again this folder is correct do wish this dialogue will remember how I've sized it but it doesn't um, so just add that again I have to fix this macro you get a lot more in my templates I mean if I had another one if I had a, a behavior tree a task class because um, these I think by default do have things in them from Unreal but if I go to um, this one now this is a, a task just going to call it my task, I think. My BT task. And keep it um, short. Um, this is also, um, you, you get an empty class from Unreal. But if you add my one, you get a constructor with the appropriate parameter. And you get this execute task. These are both normally should be present in um, a uh, class of this type so 
Um, I'm going to build these now. Of course, you will get also, before I do that, um, you will get a CPP file with some basic stuff in it to get you going. Um, so, if I do a build, ah, did I fix the macro? No, I often forget. So I've got these three classes. Oh, the yeah, telecenter slide. So, um, let's do a build. I've got Unreal open at the moment and they should appear in the folder. Okay. Uh, of course the folder doesn't refresh automatically. You have to come out and come back in. So we've got actor, my actor, my BT task, my character. Um, this task of course does nothing when I mean, was to create a paper tree I mean, it will actually um, I didn't give it a name did I when I yeah you know, if I put in here my BT task oops not like that I'll do a build again so if I um Make a, I suppose I could stick it in here. Um, except it won't, will it? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, let's make a folder. Um, <clears throat> some things you can't create in the C++ folder, um, such as behavior trees. So uh, just uh, call it BT. Yeah. Now get artificial intelligence behavior tree. If I open that up, um, can I? Oh, I'll put a, um, a select on die and then tasks. And there's my BT task. Won't do anything because it's um, empty. But it shows you that they work, um, <coughs> these classes that are generated by these templates. Um, I, mean, I could demonstrate this character class and if I create a blueprint from that and just uh, call it underscore BP on the end <coughs> I'll have nothing in it so I can uh, go to the mesh and stick a, uh, the standard mannequin on and it'll be up in the air all over the place so it's Fix that by moving it down. Uh, alt change to get to the top. E to rotate. Put 90 on it. Uh, if it'll let me. Right. <coughs> and then the animation. Third person underscore animbp. I'll go into idle. And if I drag that in, um, it will work. There it is. Um, so there are one or two issues. First of all, you have to fix that macro. Now, if we come back to the C++ classes folder, if you right click, there is no way to delete or rename these. So supposing I decide I don't want this <coughs> by actor class, you can do that in Visual Studio. But if you just come to Visual Studio and delete that um, class it won't be and do a rebuild it won't be reflected in Unreal so what you have to do what I'd recommend is if you need to delete or rename is to um, exit Unreal totally do any saves um, and then delete these files now I'm just gonna now Visual Studio doesn't delete the files for you on disk, it just removes them from the project and this causes issues. So I've got a uh, PowerShell open here. Um, let's go to source, uh, test templates isn't it. So here's the file, so if I just go Dell, uh, my actor.star, get rid of it. <clears throat> what I'd also then recommend is coming back I remember the 
the syntax for this. Whoops, didn't like that. Not a PowerShell expert. So um, we go back to the root of the project. There's this um, binaries folder here. I'm going to delete that. For everything and that folder should have gone I would recommend you do that that you delete the binaries folder if you rename or delete classes in your project and then do a build can of course do all this in Explorer but I just happen to have a I think it's sometimes easier to use the PowerShell so navigating around the um, machine to find the appropriate folders um, so now if I open Unreal you'd have to do this anyway even if you generate C++ classes the Unreal way if you then decide to delete or rename you'd have to go through the same process anyway so this is not because of my um, use of item templates and yeah my act has gone so that's it bye for now